Okay, so I wanted to go through my makeup routine with you. This is what I do every morning or sometime during the day when I get a chance. So I've um, prepped my skin with my skincare routine and now I'm ready to apply my makeup. I'm a busy, busy mum, so this is what I do every day and it's the same thing every day unless I'm going out at night. And I start off with the Charlotte Tilbury Foundation, which I have been using religiously for the last year and previously before that I've been I was using the Armani I found that the Armani was a little bit heavy on my skin and I preferred a lighter look for every day um, and the Charlotte Tilbury did that for me so I'm putting it on with my beauty blender it's a little bit dirty and I really need to get it cleaned with um, they come with the soap um, which you can get but I love the beauty blender and the way that it applies my foundation. Okay, so next up we're going to conceal and I did a poll on my Instagram a little while ago asking the best concealer because I never really used one and everyone came back with this one by NARS. It's called the Radiant Creamy Concealer and we just dot that under the eyes and anything that you wanna hide. And then we pat it down, I was told, so it doesn't move. We're patting it down. Next we have the bronzer and I use the Benefit Hula and I've been using it for a while, which you can see. I also use this as my eyeshadow now. So we're just doing under the cheekbones. Again, really quick makeup tutorial because this is, you know, you wanna be in and out, but still look good. And you don't have time, like I don't have time in the morning. So we're just putting it around our face line or hairline, whatever you want to call it. And you can put more or less, whatever you want. I try and make my funny looking nose a little bit smaller if I can. Doing it there. Okay. That'll do. If I want to do more later, I will. So that is the bronzer and I've just used a brush. Okay, next is the blush and I've been using this Chanel one for 15-ish years and it is the, don't know, don't know what colour it is but I will link it for you and I'll link all these products for you in, in another video which you can um, see me show you the products and then you can click um, and shop the products straight away through Shop Share. Um, just have a look out for the next video. So we're gonna put the blush on my cheeks, give a little smile, really fast, just for a little bit of a glow. You know, if you're up all night with the kids and you are feeling dead to the world, this will bring you back to life. Simple as that. And you get a little brush for that as well, which you keep separate from your bronzer brush. Okay, next I always do a highlight again to give myself some life. I use Becca and I actually have the cream one, but I'm not sure that they make that anymore. So when I link the products, I'm going to show you the powder that's available. And I actually was sent a, a Laura Mercier um, highlighter powder, which I'm yet to use. So when I trial it, I'll let you know how I go. And I hear her products are all amazing anyway. So we're just doing above the bones up here and the eyebrow bone. I do a little bit here, I don't know why. And that's giving me a little bit of a glow. So next what we wanna do is, let's do, uh oh, Freddie, can I have that? ta mama. I'm gonna do my eyeshadow, which is done with my bronzer because I like the color for me and my eyes. Whatever you have at home, you know, you can use, or you might want to not have to do your eyeshadow in the day. I love doing the eyeshadow um, every day. So that's what I do, and I just quickly just get it on there. And when I go out at night time, I obviously do a heavier look, and I do, you know, darker on the ends here, and um, 
more colors, not just a bronzer. Freddie's trying to say hello and steal my products because he loves makeup. Don't you, Freddie? You see his little fuzzy hair? Hey. All right, so that's that. This brush is great, which I will link as well for you. And it has the two sides, um, which I use for the top of my lids and for under. Okay, so next we're gonna do brows. And I have not so great brows, and I know that. Um, and I actually, here's a fun fact. I had an eyebrow ring in year 10 and it grew out. And I beg you children in year 10 to do not get an eyebrow ring because you will regret it like I do. Um, and it's really hard to fill in my scar. So oh. I've been using the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, eyebrow pencil for a very long time, which I love and I've just ran out of it. So I might link that for you um, in the other video, but I do love a thin brow now, brow pencil now. And I found this Zuva, I think it's called one and I will link the benefit one which is very similar um, which I've used before I've used this one as well so anyway we brush our brows up and we're gonna fill them in and make them thicker and better um, and this might be a little bit tricky me doing it here so I'll just start it off and then I'll pop to a mirror and do it but basically I want to just make them thicker and and I want to reduce the arch in my big arched eyebrows. My face isn't very symmetrical with my eyes, my nose, and my eyebrows. That's just, what do you do? Um, and so I'm just gonna try and make, make it work the best way I can. Okay, so I've just filled my brows in, as you can see. Um, I've still got a really big arch over here, but that's just how my eyebrows are. Anyway, so you do that with your eyebrow pencil. And next up, I do the liquid eyeliner. So I always use a liquid eyeliner on the top of my lids and I have been doing that for ever, since probably year 11. So when I was doing that, I was always using a black liquid eyeliner and now I've changed to a brown, which I think is a softer look on my eyes, especially as I'm getting older. And I've done that also with my pencil as well, gone to brown instead of black. Thanks, Freddie. Um, so I will put that on for you. Thank you. I used a Stiller one, which I've just started using because the brown is a really nice brown, whereas other brands, their browns are almost black. And I really wanted a brown to be brown. So I'll try putting this on with you here and then I might move to a proper mirror. So I start from the inside and then I'd go out and do the flick. So let's pull my eyes. This might be tricky. And then I get thicker as I go out. All right, I might have to get another mirror. Okay, so I have just drawn on my winged liquid eyeliner on the top of both eyes um yeah they might be a li little bit different because my eyes are two different shapes um but i've made it work so i start thin and then get thicker on the outside and do the tick okay, so next up we have mascara and i use the charlotte tilbury which i will link for you in the next video and look i don't have extensions nor are my eyelashes very long um, so if you have time to curl yours then do that I actually don't have time but when I am going out I will do that but from day to day I just apply the mascara on the top and then on the bottom try and make them as thick as possible And that will do. <laughs> okay, and then sometimes I get my Charlotte Tilbury pencil and I put it in the waterline down the bottom. Um, most days I don't, especially when I'm going out, I do. And then sometimes I do in the top waterline. 
if I haven't, um, if it doesn't uh, look dark enough with my liquid eyeliner, I just kind of go over it in here. Okay, so next I'm just lining my lips. I don't love a bold lip because I have really big eyes. Um, this one I've been using, it's Napoleon for a very long time, um, but I found some Charlotte Tilbury ones that I've linked on the um, next video. I'm not sponsored by her. Um, I just love her stuff. And I will put this on and then I would, I can't find any, but I'll put some lip balm on top. Or even I might get my little blush and rub that on top because I'm pretty fussy with my lip color not being too bright. And that's it. My hair is just washed and I've just let it to dry. I actually have some oil that I found, Moroccan oil in my bathroom, which I'll quickly put on to kind of tame the frizziness. And I'm ready in my active gear to go and do school drop off or pick up. How's that? looking a little bit more human. <laughs>